So, uh, dear Neos community, it is my privilege to stand here and talk to you tonight. Because two weeks ago, I didn't even know I would be participating in the awards in any which way. And the awards are obviously kind of secretive because we don't want you to know what's going on and who is winning. So a lot of the work that is put into that is going on behind the scenes. I also didn't know what was going on. But the awards time, team uh, and the jury asked me for their help uh, because they really had a difficult time this year um, because one of the main contributors of the jury, Florian, passed away very suddenly just a few weeks ago. And that obviously impacted not only his family, his friends, his colleagues, many of whom are amongst us here, uh, but also obviously his jury peers. So for us, that meant this award couldn't go business as usual. We need to change things up. We can't just do higher, bigger, better this year, but we wanted to reflect a bit and do something more for the community. And to get us all in the mood and have a little change of, of energy for a moment, I would invite you on just a few moments of a journey um, that I want to guide you through. So if you're down to that, please um, have the lights down a bit and close your eyes. And I would like you to think about the people that left your life for one reason or another. And then from there, maybe think about the people that are in your life, that make your life enjoyable. And then think about the people you know in this room, your colleagues, your teammates, whoever it is, and then expand that. Think about all the people you don't know in this room, because there's a lot of people here. I bet there are people here you don't know yet. And I invite you to open your heart, especially tonight, and make human connections, because that is, after all, what this community is about. And maybe you find new colleagues new team members, maybe new friends under the people you don't know yet. And with this spirit of friendship and community, uh, we decided this year to have the awards as a community award. So we wanted to showcase people that do something for the community that are not the core team, obviously, because that would be a bit easy. So let's raise the light, and I invite David, representing the jury, on stage to have the awards tonight. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, before we start, I'd also like to say a few words. Um, I've been on the jury for quite some time now. I'm doing that for a few years. And um, this is a very special award for me because for me, it's, it's, not, it's not, not so much about, you know, bigger, higher, better, because at the core, we are a community and people are contributing. And without that contribution, there would not be a NeosCon there wouldn't be an award, and there wouldn't be any NEO-CMS. So the circumstances could be better, but it's also way overdue that we celebrate those who are on a journey within the community. So it's my pleasure to invite somebody on stage who is a long-time long -time contributor and is somebody who is not afraid to take on the hot topics. So please welcome on stage, Danny Lubitz. Hi. So. 
So it's my honor uh, to give you that uh, for all the work you have done in the last eight years for us. And thank you very much. Big applause, please. All right, so we have a few questions for you. So please take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Um, here is a microphone for you. So, to get to know you a little bit better. Um, you are here from Berlin. Uh, sorry, you are here from Berlin. Uh, yeah. You have an agency. What is it called? It's Vivo Media. Okay, cool. And you are, it states that you have over 20 years of experience, so you're a quite experienced developer. And uh, since 2015, you are started contributing, and this was actually quite a journey. Uh, basically also considering my own journey because it took you just three months to become from a taker a maker. So in June 2015 you joined GitHub. Your first commit was July 2015 and your first PR in August 2015. So that's quite a pace. Uh, very cool. Um, you're a helping hand for many years now and my first question would be what drew you to the NEOS project back in the day? Sorry? Uh, what, what got you into the NEOS project? Actually, the NEOS itself. So it was, it was changing the, the way how content, uh, yeah, how you can uh, make publish content. Uh, this was the first thing. And then the second thing, the people. So especially Christian and Bastian were always there if you have some questions, even if the questions are stupid or, or for me they were stupid because I felt that dumb because it, I didn't understand the most of the things happened there and uh, they were there and they answered the questions and so I tried to give something back with my contributions. Thank you for that. Um, but recently, you know, you've been a steady contributor for over eight years now, and you helped a lot of people, you answered a lot of questions, but since February this year, your contribution got way up, and you have much more commits, you ask much more questions, and also took on the hot topics. So, um, what is it actually what you're working on right now in the NEOS ecosystem, and why are you so passionate about it? So actually, I was working on the new content repository, and I yeah I wanted to start to dig into it because I knew I I will need this knowledge in, at some point, and uh, I started at the last um, code sprint with that, and yeah I just took over some of the open tasks and tried to dig into the new content repository. And what are your plans with the content repository? Is it more like, you know, technical things that you're interested in, or is it work-related? Any special plans with it? Not really, not yet. So I was just curious about how it works and how, yeah, maybe how I can use it later for my own projects, for my customers, but there's nothing in particular. All right. We hope that you stick around for quite some time. And um, yeah, that was it. Uh, a warm applause for Danny, please. And <laughs> next on stage will be Alex. Good evening. Hi. The next NEOS award is dedicated to a newcomer in the NEOS community. One and a half years ago, she created her GitHub account and immediately started to create issues and pull requests. Thanks to her close connections to editors and testers, she knows their pain points and which issues to tackle first. It's absolutely fantastic to work with somebody who listens, it's fantastic for the editors as well as for us, the community. She likes more to fix stuff properly instead of just patching this, those things and uh, applying some workarounds. 
The first thing I did this morning was to read the patch notes, notes for Neos 8.3. One of, one of her changes were highlighted, showing her already meaningful impact for Neos. We asked her about what she likes most about Neos and what her motivation is to contribute. Her answer, it's you, it's, it's us. It's the Neos community. <clears throat> the Neos community is, love, is a lovely community who helps, inspires, and encourages others to grow. Sharing your code with others is quite personal and makes you very vulnerable. I'm glad she's part of, the, of our community, and I would like you to give her a warm applause to welcome her on stage, Paula. Carlot. All right. Uh, Next in line would be Nicole. Hello together. I have the pleasure to welcome on stage Manuel Meister. <laughs> He brought his own fan club. <laughs> Manuel, this one is for you, and I hope you will answer some questions together with me. Um, so let's get some place. <laughs> Manuel, in the last year, you have fundamentally restructured the NEOS documentation, and that's, of course, a huge contribution to the NEOS community because every one of us needs documentation, but we all know developers don't write so nice and good documentation. So what's your secret and your motivation to do this? Oh, uh, well, I started uh, for Young Format. I need to make like a, a, a challenge, and it was a pure fusion challenge. So for me, it was quite hard to begin because it's like a new language, new everything and I, I was like well there must be documentation and I looked at it and it like my heart my heart it's crumbled in a bit because it, for me it was not the right way of the communication and I, was, I said to me like oh there are nice tutorial videos but I don't like videos and I thought well maybe we can do better and um, when Last year, I could come to the NEOS award, uh, to the NEOS conf, and I thought, like, well, maybe I could do something about it. And then I prototyped and made a, a, a tiny version. I thought, like, it must be very important that it's very readable fast and that it needs to be very noob friendly because, like, I'm a noob. I don't know how it works. I asked my boss all about it. He, he was like, Okay, um, so here's a workaround, and I was like, ah, oh, okay, yes, but that's, a, that's not how it's supposed to be. So he said, like, yes, but it's how we do it, and, and so I tried to, um, to put everything together, how it really works, and, or how it could work, <laughs> and that's why I created the first design, and now... I'm not finished because I, I'm thinking like, well, now we have a, a more accessible design. It's now the structure and the content that's really needed. Yeah, yeah that's the nice point, the accessibility. That's uh, for the future where developers don't have so huge um, yeah, point of interest there. <laughs> Can you tell us a little about what you're focused on the NEOS documentation? In point of accessibility? Well, um, 
first, uh, it, first it was like written with a library, and I thought like, well, great, we have like a basis. But then I, I, I realized we don't actually need that many interactive features beside tabs. And then I said like, well, okay, um, if it's like this, I remove. I, I try to remove everything <laughs> and uh, just uh, add those things that are important. And in an earlier job, I've uh, focused on accessibility. That's why I know it's important. And um, it's just um, really good to be able to navigate with the keyboard. And every, everyone um, like profits from this. So yeah. yeah. So I think it's a good point because in the last presentation we saw that uh, good UX means you can nothing more remove. <laughs> so that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I think you have a lot more ideas how it could go on uh, with the NEOS documentation. Can you tell us some more ideas for the future? Well, I have some. Um, for instance, uh, I really like, I like to unify the platform so like the API, every Fusion object is every Fusion query property. Everything is documented also on Docs Neos, but like um, that gets the data from the uh, from the repository. So it's we stay in sync because like that's really important. But also like having more examples, um, more um, uh, links, and in general a better structure. Um, so it's more easy to understand, but also like to separate the very advanced um, uh, examples to a other section so that not, a noob doesn't come to how to extend UI. And it's like, whoa, I mean, like <laughs> I first maybe I, I add a button. So yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Thanks for these insights. And now, last but not least, we want to welcome Christian um, for giving the last NEOS award. And I'm super happy to ask Lorenz Ulrich on stage as the fourth one. For you. Thank you very much. So, have a seat. <laughs> right. So, Lawrence and me know it's each other for a while now, I guess. Why am I here? <laughs> why, why? I can tell you why you're here. You joined Slack 2015, and you started to be helpful there ever since. I actually looked back in the history, and I think your first two messages were questions, but your third message was already an answer to a question. <laughs> and uh, that is how it went ever since. And it's not only Slack, it's also Discuss. Uh, you're super helpful and super active. But how did you get started? Uh, good question. Uh, I think uh, what convinced us to do NEOS uh, were the presentations at the Type of 3 con actually, and not only the presentation but also the people uh, behind NEOS because they um, they projected trust <laughs> in their in their idea, even if it was just a prototype. So um, I think. For us, uh, we said, okay, uh, they have our trust, and let's build a website with NEOS. And uh, at Visol, we started like uh, doing websites with NEOS in 2014 or so, or 13 even, when it had no dimensions or whatever. No <laughs> you cash, know it, no nothing. No <laughs> caching, yes. And yeah, we stayed with NEOS ever since, and we don't look back. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, staying on topic, I not only looked back into history, but also into the statistics, because you're really super helpful in the community. And you wrote in total in those eight years 2,200 messages. I counted it down. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell my business partner. That's about one each working day 
a year, every, like every single working day for eight years, you wrote at least one message, you could say. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> and that's, that's super amazing, and it helps probably so many people. So um, how do you keep going? Like, how do you make it work for you that you're, that you're around, basically? I really, I had no idea that I do that, <laughs> so maybe <laughs> need some time to reflect. No, um, I, 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 I also think that it's as, that the community is super helpful, and as someone mentioned before, it's like it's not you're just someone and. Uh, the, the gods of Neos won't, uh, won't listen to you, but uh, everyone is like in Slack. So if everyone else is in Slack, the core team, they're very active. Uh, you really have a reason to be active too. I think that's the, the main motivation here. And also to, um, to find out, out about how other people do things or who, does, uh, who is doing the same task in another country maybe and can share some ideas. Yeah, that's a beautiful reason, I would say. And last but not least, working with the community on Slack and Discuss. But you also mentioned Visual before. You have quite some packages for Neos as well. And I know you are very much into music and make music yourself. How do you, how do, you do it? How do you balance it all? <laughs> um, uh, hard to tell. I think it's not so different because if you need to uh, develop a solution for, for customers, it's always some creativity involved um, to, to find the best solution to, I mean, we just, uh, those who were in the studio stage know uh, that it is more than just programming. So, uh, well, I, it's, the worlds are not so different. Uh, I, I guess you're a musician, part-time uh, part musician too. So. Words are not so different, uh, worlds are not so different, and uh, yeah, uh, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, just do it. So I expect you all to do it soon. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you very much. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> all right. So, as, you ha as we have all of you on stage, maybe we can ask a question to all of them? Yeah, let's do that. So, you have heard a lot today about the future of NEOS, and I'm, you are involved, and you, you know all the stuff, uh, and I mean, you two probably as well. So, what do you see for yourself in the NEOS community in the future? If anyone wants to, I mean, you don't have to. I see a, a growing community uh, with lots of uh, love, and uh, it's great to be a part of this. And yeah, to see Nears 9 and what will be with this. There are so many new possibilities, new Nears fans. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so maybe uh, this is a bit boring, but um, last year when um, there was this new uh, Neos, is it what is it, Platinum membership? Uh, Jonas, my business partner, and I we discussed um, about if we should become like this platinum partners. And we all know, I mean, writing messages is helpful, and writing documentation is very helpful, but. Keep in mind, I think we all are making money from open source software, so everything we wear, we eat, we travel, um, comes from open source software. Some contribute code, that's great. Uh, some don't, and some maybe con don't contribute anything yet. So I suggest uh, think about your business models if you have any money to spare, because um, even if it's an open source project, it needs money and people who invest in it. So that would be my wish for the community. All right. Uh, thank you very much for coming on stage and sharing all that very, very nice and beautiful and useful information. Um, I'm looking forward to see you in the coming years. And yeah, 
So that's, that was it uh, for the NEOS Award this year. And um, I think the next topic is the social event. Yep, so I will talk about it. OK, so uh, one final applause, please, for all those fine people. Right, so next up, the social event. But before we go there, everyone who added a project to this year's award, obviously your, your edition is not lost. We will take it over to next year uh, for another award. So your projects are safe with us. Uh, they will be considered for next year. So uh, you don't need to reapply. And now for the social event, start 8 o'clock. Uh, so get a bite, get ready. It will be super fun. The location is great. And let's do some nerdy dancing. <laughs>